Yo, what is up y'all? Hope y'all having a nice day. And in today's video, what I got for you guys is a very easy working car duplication glitch here in GTA 5 Online. This is a co-op car duplication glitch, so you will need at least one friend to help you out. Now there is a couple minute setup, uh, and then after the setup, the person that is duplicating will be able to duplicate a vehicle every minute or so. So very, very cool guys. Uh, before we actually get into it, uh, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please feel free to smash that like button and also consider subscribing as well. It really would help out the channel. Alright guys, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump into some requirements. For the person that is actually duplicating the vehicles, you will need a MOC with a personal vehicle storage in Bay 3. Uh, and you will also need to own the arena and inside the arena, make sure you do have the vehicle you are looking to duplicate stored inside uh, inside of the arena, all right? Uh, in addition to that, you will need some Fagios as well. You will be duplicating over these Fagios. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, these Fagios can be stored anywhere but the MC Clubhouse, all right? So just keep that in mind. And for the person that is helping you, all right, your friend, they will need a motorcycle clubhouse. Uh, and then inside the motorcycle clubhouse, make sure it is full. I do recommend it just buy a bunch of Sanchez's. And uh, make sure that the clubhouse is full. All right, so the person that is helping you, make sure they do have a full clubhouse of Sanchez's uh, is recommended. And also, they will need to own the casino penthouse garage with at least one vehicle stored inside of the casino penthouse garage. All right, that is for the helper. Uh, once you guys have the requirements down pat, the very first step here, as you can see, I am showing you the friend's perspective first. Your friend will need to glitch out in order to help you duplicate. Uh, so as you can see here, what your friend needs to do is go ahead... Uh, make his way to the casino. All right. Once he's at the casino, he's going to request for uh, any random bike that is not stored in the MC Clubhouse. So any other random motorcycle that he has stored somewhere else that is not in the MC Clubhouse. He's going to go ahead and call that bike out, and then he's going to kill himself. All right. He's going to take the easy way out. And once he spawns back up here, he's going to run back to his bike, uh, and he's going to make his way to his motorcycle clubhouse. All right, guys. Uh, so you're going to go ahead and meet up with him here at his motorcycle clubhouse. Uh, then he's going to go ahead and park his bike here just in front of the garage. All right, so go ahead and have him park his bike here just in front of the garage. Uh, once he does that, he's going to get off, and then he's going to stand right next to the bike here. All right, so stand up close to the bike just like this. Uh, what he's going to do is he needs to find somebody that is playing in a different targeting mode, so I do recommend to be in free aim. Uh, since most people play an assisted aim, once he finds somebody random from a community or off his friends list that is playing in a different targeting mode, he's going to accept the first alert and decline the second. So decline the targeting mode alert. Uh, basically what they're doing is prepping the alert so it comes in faster next time here. Once you've done that, go ahead and have your duper shoot you and kill you. The moment they shoot you, you're going to go ahead and uh, immediately join that person that is playing in a different targeting mode. And then what's going to happen here is you will get an alert on screen, uh, which is the targeting mode alert. Go ahead and decline that alert right away. Immediately jump on the bike and then drive it into the garage. You should receive the garage full alert. Go ahead and accept the full alert. And then immediately hit square or X to start up a 1v1 death match with your buddy who had just killed you here. All right. So on the wasted screen, once you had joined somebody in different targeting mode, and decline the target mode alert on the wasted screen. Jump on the bike, pull it into the garage, accept the full alert, and then immediately hit square or X to start a 1v1 death match. Your buddy is not going to accept the death match. He's just going to uh, wait for you uh, to basically come off of the black screen. And what should happen is you should spawn up right outside the casino where you did spawn up earlier when you killed yourself. All right. Once you spawn up here at the casino, just run into the casino. Uh, then go ahead and run to the front desk. You're going to select valet service and then you're going to go to, down to casino penthouse garage and select any vehicle uh, that you have in your penthouse garage all right from here your buddy should be on an infinite black loaning screen what you want to do is start up a titan of a job have your buddy join you and once he is on the first alert you're going to go ahead and back out of the job uh, and then once you back out of the job you can have your buddy go ahead and accept the first alert and then accept the unable to connect to a session alert uh, and then what should happen is your buddy should be brought up into the clouds, come back down here in the casino, uh, and they will be in a default glitched out casino as you see here. Once they are in this glitched out casino, what they're going to do is bring up their map, uh, and then they're going to start up the job next to the arena here from their map by hitting square or X and starting it up. If you do not see your blue jobs on the map, go into your interactions menu, go to hide options, and set jobs to custom, that way they do show up on the map. But go ahead and start up the job here close to the casino by hitting square or X on the job and then start it up. What should happen is you should automatically be sucked over to the job. And as you can see, we spawn up invisible. 
on top of the job marker. Once we are invisible on top of the job marker, what we're going to do is have our buddy once again start up Titan of a job. Uh, once we join him through his profile or uh, the now playing list and we are on the first alert, we're going to have our duper here go ahead and back out of the job. Once he backs out, we're going to go ahead and accept the first alert and then we're going to accept the unable to connect to session alert as well. Uh, once we accept this alert, we will spawn back down here by the mission marker by the arena here and we are now officially off the radar as you see here. So your friend's minimap should be grayed out and now he is officially off the radar and ready to help you duplicate vehicles. Uh, we're going to go ahead and switch to the duper's perspective. All right, my friend is glitched out off the radar here. Uh, he's going to go ahead and jump in any random vehicle that I had pulled out of the arena or called out. Uh, any random vehicle, he's going to jump in and drive a little distance away. I'm going to register as a MC uh, president, and then I'm going to go into my MC options here and request for a Fagio. Uh, nothing should happen, all right? Once you request for the Fagio, nothing should happen, which is perfect. What you want to do from here is go ahead and run into your arena. Your buddy is going to stay in the vehicle that he is in right now, all right? He is going to still be in the same vehicle. Uh, he's going to stay there and wait for you, all right? Uh, you're going to go ahead and run into your arena. Once you run into your arena, you are going to jump into the vehicle you are looking to duplicate. I do suggest a fully upgraded Arena War Issy as it will earn you the most profit. Uh, what you're going to do is jump into the car you're looking to duplicate. As you can see, you can drive around in the arena. What you are looking to do now is block off both doors. So you can go ahead and park it just like I am here. Uh, park one side uh, up against the exit door. And then what you want to do is grab another vehicle to block off the other door and what you're looking for is to teleport in and out of the car you are duplicating just like so once you are sure you are teleporting in and out of the car you're duplicating you're gonna walk up to the exit door and you're basically gonna click on exit and teleport into the vehicle at the same time so hit X or A and Y or triangle at the same exact time on exit and you should spawn up here outside in the vehicle uh, if you did not spawn out inside inside the vehicle you can go ahead and just run back in and try again once you are outside here in the vehicle that you are duplicating, have your buddy jump out of the car he was in. It should disappear. Go ahead and uh, request for your MOC. You're going to pull the duplicate here now into the back of your MOC. Don't worry if there was something back there. It will be transferred to wherever the Fagio came from. Uh, then once you are in here, this is one successful duplicate and it is now saved. Uh, so yeah, very, very cool guys. Uh, to easy, easily rinse and repeat, you can go ahead and pull out the duplicate he you have here in your MOC. Uh, and you can use this vehicle for your buddy to jump into. Uh, then once your buddy jumps into this vehicle, again, he's just going to go ahead and pull away a little distance. Uh, and then in order for you to uh, go into your MC options and request for another Fagio, uh, then once it doesn't show up, you can run into your arena. Uh, then continue from there, alright? Just rinse and repeat the same exact steps you did just did to duplicate your first vehicle. So yeah, you guys should be good to go, but uh, that is pretty much going to cover it for your brand new money glitch here in GTA 5 Online. I do highly appreciate you guys staying tuned in. If you did enjoy the video, please feel free to smash that like button. Mm -hmm. And also, feel free to subscribe and remember to turn on that bell if you would like to keep up to date with any future uploads here on the channel. This has been your boy High Guy, and until next time, I'm out. Peace.